Hi everybody. In this video we're going to look at creating a custom font using Photopea. You might have seen my previous video on modifying a font in Illustrator, but if you don't have Illustrator at home, we can use Photopea and get just about the same results. It'd just be a few different steps. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to head over to Photopea first and I'm going to file new and what we'll do, we'll go in inches here, we'll change pixels to inches and I'm going to make a letter size document about 8 by 11 height in inches. The background will stay white, we'll keep the resolution at 72 and create. Okay, you can zoom in, that's command plus. I'm going to take my text tool right over here and I'm going to change the size maybe to 100 pixels, press return, and with this text tool I'm going to click inside of the middle, just click inside of the middle of the document. I'm going to hold shift and press the T key. I'm just going to work with a T. You can use a different letter if you want. I do recommend possibly starting with a symmetrical letter in the alphabet. So I'm going to get the move tool and I can move this T around. I can also t turn off or on the transform controls. So I want to turn them on because I want to be able to grab this bounding box and scale this T larger. If you hold shift as you grab a corner and pull it, you'll scale proportionally. So I'm going to look to make my T about this large. When you like it, press return and turn off transform controls. I don't like seeing those on all the time, so I will disappear them temporarily as I work. Okay, so now, um, how can we start to modify this text? Well, the first thing we need to do is, um, it's still perceived as a text. You can see the layer here, so I'm not able to cut it out or do anything to this layer because it's a tech it's a it's still a font so what we're going to do is over here in the layer we can right click this layer and it's called rasterize so oh can i just see i want to see what this does convert to shape let me just see and does that let us i just saw that so let me just <laughs> This might, yep. To click on that, it's a direct select path. Yes, okay. So I'm going to right click and go to convert to shape. And when you convert to shape, you see, just like in Illustrator, there are anchors. If you're not seeing them, you can click, um, there's a text tool here, sorry, there is a selection tool here that's very different than this tool. So over here, these are path selecting tools. So I'm going to get this one and I can move the, the T around, but I can also see these anchors. Now when I'm, there are two types of path selection tools. There's the black arrow and the white arrow. One is called the path selection tool. That selects the whole path. The other one is the direct select tool. This allows me, just like an illustrator, to directly select one of these anchors. And you can see when I select one, it turns it from a square into a little circle. When I click on one of these, then I can pull it and move it around. So, I'm going to click on this one and hold shift and click on this one to be able to change this letter. So I'm going to do that. And you can hold shift as you move and it will stay um, on a straight line. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this one here and with my arrow keys and holding shift, I could just nudge this over three times and I'll click on this one, hold shift and nudge it over with the arrow keys, one, two, three. 
so that it's the same on both sides. I'm going to make this maybe come to a point down here. So um, I'm going to bring this in one, two, and then click on this one, hold shift with the arrow key, one, two. All right. Now, how do we add anchors like we did in Illustrator? Well, I could hold down, um, there's a pen tool here, and let's just see. I know if you hold down this pen tool right here, and while this is selected, I could click a path, click to make new anchors on this letter. So now when I go back to the direct select arrow, I could click those and move them. I will click this one and then move it. And then if I want, just like in my previous video, I had a hole in the center here, I used a shape, uh, a white shape. So let's make that. How do you make shapes? Well, right below here, and you can see all the stuff that we're using, all of the tools that we're using are in this location. We've used the pen tool to add anchor points. I believe the pen tool will also remove anchor points too if you want to get rid of anchors, you can see. I'll undo that. <clears throat> There's the selection tools that are in this region here too for moving anchors around. So this is for creating or deleting anchors. These are for moving the full path or directly moving anchors with the direct. And then this uh, tool right here is the shape tool. And you have a few shapes to, to choose from. And we'll start with the rectangle. So what I'm going to do, I have the rectangle tool up here. Even though my white says it's in the foreground, the options for the shape tool are here. So it says it's going to fill it in black. I'm going to change that to white. Oh, I'm going to undo that. I'll click off and just Control-Z undo. Um, let's go back to that shape tool. I think I should maybe deselect, click off of this shape so it's not activated when I come up here. And then get this shape tool. Maybe I'll drag out a shape and then change it to white. And before I lose it, because if I click off, I'm not going to see it anymore, I'm going to just move it on top of here. Now, you can see when I move it, it snaps when it's in the center. That's really good. I'm going to turn on my transform controls and scale. And we could hold shift as we do that. I'm going to scale. Maybe I don't need to hold shift. I'm going to scale this a little bit thinner, like here. Okay. Turn off now the transform controls. That's on the move tool here. Turn them off. And I'm going to go to the pen tool because I want to add an anchor above and below so that I can stretch this. Now, how do I stretch it? I'm going to get to the direct select path. I'm going to click this anchor and maybe I'll count it out. One, two, three. So two up, one over. And I'll take this middle one and one, two. And I'll make it look good. Okay. All right, so if I want to do just something quick up top here, I'm going to, with the, um, the path select, click on the full shape, then get my pen tool, and maybe I'll just add an anchor here and here so that I can grab it with the direct select tool. So I'm just going to move this one up one, two, and this one up, one, two. Okay. And there. So I have transformed this letter in, or this a font into a different font. And this is what you're going to do if you're working at home without Illustrator. If you have Adobe, please use it. But if you don't, we can just do it this way as well. So 
good luck and give this a try.